Hello and welcome. My name is Simon Nagel. I'm working for Autodesk. And today I would like to talk about a script that can improve your process in publishing a VRED Go file. I think most of you know the functionality that comes with VRED um, 2021, where I can publish a VRED Go file, which means that I can export the, um, the data as an Excel file, containing all the relevant information from that file meaning all geometry, the materials, variants, um, animation, scripts, HTMLs, basically everything that you have in your file. And later on, it's possible for you to um, access this file, which is here, and send it to everyone. And everyone can open this file on his computer as long as he's using, using Windows. So it's an Excel file. So as long as Windows understands an um, Excel file, you can open it. I'm surely, usually it makes sense if you have at least well, new hardware to, um, to run this data sets, um, but that was the only requirement of loading these files. After loading these files, you have access to all this information that was stored in the file. You can export it, of course, you can just review it. And all the information that was visible when exporting it is now obviously visible in my Vivid Go file. However, all the variants and the variations are still stored in this file. The question is, how can I access it? And then the um, default um, example data of um, this automotive genesis, there's a touch sensor. So for example, I can click on the doors to open the doors. I can click on the door again to close the door. Um, so the data is there. The question is only, how can I access this data in my VRED Go file? And usually, and that's what we recommend, um, you can set up logic in your scene. So you can create touch sensors in your scene to make it interactive. So I could, for example, click on the hood to change the color and so on. But sometimes it's possible to add another layer of, of, of uh, accessing this information. So for example, what we also could do is we could create a scene plate and on the scene plate, we could embed some HTML content and this HTML content can be linked to my variants in my variant scene. Um, which is a great workflow, but I think some people are saying, well, that's great, but it's um, might be a bit too complicated for me. And others, oh no, it's done, says, yeah, it's possible, but it takes, it's taking some time. So um, I thought, wouldn't it be great to just generate a script, which is automating this process. So what the script that I will show in a second is actually doing, it is looking at all the variants. So there are all these variants automatically stored in the scene and is putting all these variants to an HTML page, which is gonna be a scene plate in VRED. So when I click on the variant of the scene plate, I'm changing the variant in my scene. Before that, I just delete a little bit, a little bit of my um, variants. For example, I just delete all the animations, don't need it. Let me just delete all the interior license plate lights and roof. Let's keep the environments and maybe let's, let's just reduce some colors. Probably I don't need this one. And this one, just delete and find this one. Perfect. So now I would like to execute my script so that all those variants will be accessible in my scene plate. Before that, I need to keep in mind how should those variants in my scene plate look like? And usually um, it should look exactly like the preview that we have in our variant sets. For those who don't know, it's always possible for me to generate one of those preview icons just by doing a right click and say create a preview and then create the preview. And now you see that the preview icon has changed. Again, can maybe just change my point of view, just right click here, create preview, change my preview icon. So since I have this information already, it would be great to just reuse this information. And that's exactly what the script is doing. The script I'm talking about can be found in GitHub. You can just look for um, uh, this link below. I'm posting the link below and afterwards you can go to the um, to the Python um, to the Python file over here you can just copy and paste the entire Python syntax all you have to do like really all you have to do just make a copy and afterwards go to go to your VRED scene to your script editor and say paste that's all works with every scene should you press run and then automatically we are generating them HTML buttons and add them to a scene plate on your scene. Okay, which means that I can just click on those buttons to change the variant. I can also change the environment. I can change the color. 
I can just execute the variant that was saved in my file. So if I publish the VRED Go file again, publish VRED Go, and I publish it in the same folder, underscore variant, and again, I'm saving, I'm publishing what I see right now, inlining with inlining all the information. And afterwards, I can send this exe file to somebody else. Here we go. And he can just open it on his computer without a VRED license, um, without having VRED installed on his computer. And afterwards, the VRED go file, the exe file will be loaded and started on the computer. And since I was storing the file with a scene plate HTML overlay, I automatically have access to all the variants in my scene by just clicking on the icons. So that's my VRED GO file, my EXO file. I can navigate around. All my touch sensors still work, but at the same time, um, still work. Ah, oh, no, I deleted the variant set for the animation, so don't worry about that. But I can still just change the color of my car by executing the variant set and at the same time executing variant sets for the environment. Long story short, copy paste the script and you automatically put all your variants to an HTML overlay that can be accessible in VRED Go. Thanks for watching. Take care.